This is Behind the Art and I am Tony Payne, story time of how I got this shot of the Woodland Kingfisher. So the Woodland Kingfisher is actually a pretty special bird. Like all kingfishers, um, kingfishers are one of my favorite birds. I have a lot of favorite birds, but the kingfisher especially, I adore them. They come in a whole lot of variety that spread across the world, right? And um, I remember when I was planning my trip to Lagos, the woodland kingfisher was one bird that I knew I was going to find there. And it was on my bucket list. I was like, okay, I really hope, because you never know, you might spot something, you might not. I really hope I spot the kingfisher. I really hope I spot the kingfisher. Sure enough, my first night there, um, you know, in smooth, there was nothing. <laughs> and the morning when I woke up, I know the kingfisher call because they have this taunting call. Like, -da -da -da. you cannot miss their call. It's like almost like they're taunting you. The next morning, I heard the taunting call. If you've heard of kingfisher, then you know this call that I'm talking about. And I was like, oh my God. That cannot be a kingfisher. I was not sure because they there's a variety of kingfishers in Lagos. I wasn't sure exactly which one, but I suspected it was the woodland kingfishers. I'm not like 100% great with bird calls, but I knew it was a kingfisher. So I kind of was like, where is it coming from? Where is it coming from? And I kind of followed the sound and it was from outside the window. And I opened the window. <gasps> It's the kingfisher. And I'm like, oh my God, get out of here. No, this is not happening. I am actually sitting here looking at the woodland kingfisher right, right here. Like I'm not in the wild. I'm not like, you know, going to reserve. It's right here in the yard, like two feet from me. So I look out and of course I'm like, okay, I know how kingfisher behavior is. They're very skittish. If you come close, boom, they're gone. They do not wait for you to photograph them. Ask any photographer that has photographed kingfishers. They will tell you they're one of the most difficult birds to photograph or film because, again, they don't trust you. So I was like, okay, fine. At least I know that they're in this region. Once you know they're in a certain region, it's cool. Just be patient. So I decided to start tracing the kingfisher. And finally, we found a spot where the kingfisher lands every single day. And of course, I would wake up and I would go to that same spot and I would wait and I would try to get a good shot and I would get these type of shots. <laughs> and I'm like, darn. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to give up. I am going to keep trying because again, this is my bucket list bird. I want to get a picture of the woodland kingfisher like every other kingfisher that I have not photographed yet. And I was like, okay, I'm going to keep trying. So one day, I think it was like mid-afternoon. I cannot 100% remember. The mid-afternoon or early evening. It was still bright outside. The kingfisher lands right in front of me on a pole. Oh, no, a, a, not a pole, not a pole, a wire, a, uh, an electric wire, electric cable. And I'm like, oh, no way. Shh. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. Don't say nobody talk. <laughs> because again, if you do this, it's gone. Kingfishers do not care. They will, they're gone. So I'm like, <sighs> and guess what this bird did not do? Did, did fly away. And I'm inching closer, thinking, okay, I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna get a shot. You know, because you always have to do that. Get the shot and then inch closer. Get the shot. But don't inch to the point where you're annoying to the bird. <laughs> you know, you always have to respect wildlife, give them their space. Don't be like all in their face. Like, oh, hey, look at me. I want to get a picture of you. Um, yeah, so I'm inching closer, I'm inching closer. And it's still there. Didn't fly away. Oh, my goodness. What is going on? What is this? Kingfisher actually want to do me a favor? That's what I'm thinking. So finally, I inch as close as I feel like I'm going to get to that kingfisher without it actually, actually really flying away. Probably wouldn't have flown away if I got a little bit closer, but I didn't want to risk it. And that was how I got my shot of the woodland kingfisher. And legit, that was so exciting for me. Like, ah, 
<laughs> I did a dance. <laughs> I did a dance. I did. I did. I did a dance after I got the shot. I couldn't believe it. And I talked about it for like days. I was like, oh my God. And I would like wake up and pinch myself like, oh my God, did I actually just get the, did I? And you know, I see a lot of Kingfisher shots, but trust me, oh, some people go months trying to get that shot. We see it on um on the internet and you're thinking oh, it's just a bird but guess what sometimes a lot goes into getting that shot and then some people get lucky maybe they have a lot of kingfishers in their area and they just know the behavior you got to study the behavior of kingfishers know where they land know how they move and just kind of observe them to get that shot um so that was how i got this shot of a kingfisher and it's in my store if you want um to put it on your wall <laughs> In terms of symbolism, I feel like the kingfisher would represent courage, right? The kingfisher is actually a very courageous bird, and they do not wait to find out. <laughs> Although it can be hard to photograph them when they do that, I kind of love that about them. They're like, nope, 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 um, I'm not going to let you get close to me. In terms of zodiac, what would I feel like the kingfisher would be? I almost want to say Aries because I'm an Aries and I know how I am and I'm the type that I won't like I don't want to find out. But I will say that the kingfisher would be Sagittarius, um the archer. If you agree with me, you can go ahead and leave a comment below why you think a kingfisher actually would be a Sagittarius or what qualities a Sagittarius has that you feel kingfisher might have just by describing how they are skittish don't wait for you but great hunters they are absolutely great hunters and they're little tiny birds but they're just so awesome they're so amazing so shout out to all the Sagittarius out there all right that is going to be it for this behind the art and this was how I got the picture of the kingfisher thank you for watching bye